Saudações Dragões, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo. No vídeo de hoje vamos falar sobre Robert Downey Jr. Muitos de vocês conhecem esse ator devido a papéis como Homem de Ferro ou Sherlock Holmes. Mas o que vocês provavelmente não sabem é que ele pratica Wing Chun. E rodando por aí, acabei encontrando uma entrevista que ele fala sobre o seu treinamento de Wing Chun e como o Wing Chun mudou a sua vida através da sua filosofia de vida. Essa entrevista em si, vocês conseguem achar por aí, mas essa parte específica em que ele fala de Wing Chun, eu não consegui achar legendado, então eu mesmo tive que legendar. Deu um trabalhão, então acho que isso aqui já vale o seu like, e eu tenho certeza que vocês vão gostar desse vídeo. Bom, com isso dito, bora pro vídeo, e para você que não me conhece, eu sou o Chico Flávio da família Yolong San, seja bem-vindo ao Dragão Eterno. Particularly in the last 15 years, when I started really taking martial arts seriously, half the stuff that I've been able to do right in my creative life are principles that I learned on the mat with my Sifu. Mm. You know, guard your center, uh, keep your eye on the lead elbow, um, get to the blind side, you know. A bunch of times a week, and if I'm working on something or if he can make it to location, we'll have long stretches where we're doing it every day. Traditional Wing Chun. Really? Through, yeah. Which is... Um, Very underrated art form. Yes. Also, so many trade secrets and so different than how I see it when I'm looking at videos in that... In UFC, everything is out in the open, and it's discussed, and you see in a lot of the, the Eastern stuff, there was a turf wars, and we're not really going to show them mm -hmm. our footwork. We're not going to do this. So, But anyway, it's been a real deep dive with my Sifu, Eric Oram, whose Sifu, my Sigung, is uh, Grandmaster William Chung, renowned kind of Hong Kong rooftop fights, all that stuff. Amazing lore. But... Very technical, difficult to build, and easy to use. I got my ass kicked by a wooden dummy for about three years, and then I finally understood the principle of uh, don't fight force with force. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's just nuts. So anyway, half the time, if I would be in a, a critical artistic situation, I would just say... Because um, Wing Chun problems are life problems, life problems are Wing Chun problems, and I would just go back to how did this kind of relate to? Because I don't like getting clocked and getting my teeth knocked in. Because we tend to sometimes we glove up, but we're not wearing mouthpieces. It's very. Uh, Why do you wear a mouthpiece? It's certainly not because he's very good at pulling his punches, and he's also even better at making sure that I don't accidentally hit him. But we get as close as, as we can to what the, the real uh, experience would be. But again, it's like everything. I'm sure, uh, you know, a few clicks back down the road, there's things that instructors were doing that would be considered illegal to do to a group of students nowadays. Absolutely coincided with my recovery. Oh. And the two things just somehow or other seem to, to lock in when... And uh, talk to you uh, um, off the record and afterwards about any and everything to do with my recovery. As far as it locked in with this, it was an apprentice, an apprenticeship, and it was a, an apprenticeship that was contingent on me uh, being in a certain headspace. Mm. You know. Well, it's a good thing too because uh, it's an it's a very addictive thing. People get very addicted to martial arts, and it's a good substitute for yeah. sometimes uh, negative addictions. Yeah, I mean, for me, it, it wasn't going to be golf. It wasn't <laughs> going to be something passive like that. Even right. though I hear it's great, but it's been uh, it's just been a great gift. And it's also the thing where you know you're just you're never done. I made black belt five years ago um, for another grading, and now we're doing a lot of weapon stuff and. Uh, It's just I, that's I just awesome. Adore Congratulations! It. Yeah, um, my Taekwondo teacher said something to me when I was very young. He said that it, it is a tool for developing your human potential. Wow! 
Yeah, and I never forgot that because I'm like, yeah, it's because it's really difficult to do. Like all martial arts are really, di it's really difficult to get your body to move that way and to be able to be effective in a conflict situation. And if you can do it, and you can do it over and over again, and you can overcome that difficult thing, and you thought it was insurmountable, and then you figured out how to do it, eventually you get to this point where you realize, well, everything in life is like that. Everything in life is like something, it's a puzzle. You have to figure out, what, what, how am I approaching it wrong? What, what can I do to make it better? How do I get m more competent at this particular skill or this particular discipline? Yeah, and just the humility, too. I mean, if I've noticed anything in the last couple of years, just in in UFC, which, by the way, I was doing a Robert Altman film called The Gingerbread Man back in the 90s, and I, UFC had just started off, and I was getting the VHS tapes yeah. and watching them. And so when they go back on the 25 years ago, I was like, I've been, I've been, I've been there from jump. That's awesome. But we watch, uh, it's just that thing of no matter what you think, um, the, uh, the tides are changing quickly. And, yeah. and you just got to keep, keep working. E se você gostou desse vídeo, não deixa de se inscrever aqui no canal. Todas as quartas e sextas-feiras nós temos vídeos novos às 11h15 da manhã. E também se você quer aprender o Wing Chun passo a passo, nós temos nosso curso online de Wing Chun. O link vai estar na descrição e no primeiro comentário fixado. São diversas videoaulas te explicando passo a passo os conceitos do Wing Chun, aulas teóricas, aulas práticas sozinho, aula prática em dupla e também você terá acesso ao nosso grupo exclusivo no Telegram. Antes de encerrarmos esse vídeo, eu tenho uma curiosidade. Você sabia que o Homem de Ferro treinava o Wing Chun? Responde aí nos comentários. Bom, como sempre, agradeço vocês pela audiência. Eu vejo vocês no próximo vídeo. Zai Gente!